Yuken Teruya is a Japanese contemporary artist based in New York and Berlin. He uses a technique called kirigami, which actually means cutting pictures. With only an X-Acto knife and tweezers, he makes these wonderful creations. Using things that people would throw away, like an empty fast food bag. But what inspired me was his work called Corner Forest. He takes empty toilet paper tubes and transforms them into magical trees simply by cutting part of them out. Today we're going to create toilet paper tube shape lamps inspired by Yuken Teruya. So we're going to need white paper, a toilet paper tube, a white crayon, markers, and scissors. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to flatten our tube. We're going to press it down firmly against the desk. Then we're going to place it at the bottom of the paper and use it to measure the width of our lamp, just like this. The paper tube is going to be the lamp and the white paper is going to be the lampshade that goes inside the tube. Now we're going to cut the lampshade out. Then put the tube at the edge of the paper and roll it over like that. This way we'll know what size our lampshade needs to be. You can leave a little tiny extra piece like this and then cut the rest out. Now we're going to use our black marker, or if you don't have black, you can use another dark color and cover your whole paper towel tube, turn it over and do it on the other side. Now look at the two edges where the tube was folded, where the tube was bent. Notice they don't have a lot of color. I want you to put them together like this until they touch each other and then squeeze the sides. Now turn it around and do it on the other side as well. Then put it on your desk and press it with your thumbs until it's flat you'll notice that you'll get a square prism. Looks like a square from the top, see? Now fold it and make sure you get those edges colored as well. Now we're gonna take a pencil and draw some simple shapes on the side. Now don't go too far in because they'll be really hard to cut. I like to start with a triangle because it's the easiest shape to cut. First, you make a cut on one side of the triangle, take the scissors out, and make the cut on the other side of the triangle like this. And then it just comes off, see? Cutting round shapes is a little bit harder. You have to turn the cardboard as you slowly cut like this. But the whole time you have to be very careful that you don't hurt your other hand with the scissors. Don't worry about cutting your shapes out perfectly. You just want to get some sort of shape there. Experiment with trying to add a little bit of curves to your shapes. The more creative your shapes are, the cooler your lamp is going to look. Now unfold it so you can see the shapes you created, fold it again and add shapes to the other two sides. And cut them out just like you did the first time. Now do it on the other side. Make sure the new shapes you are drawing don't go too far in so that you don't damage the shapes that you already cut out. Now unfold it and fold it again to the last edge that has no shapes. If you're getting good at cutting, try some organic shapes that are a little bit more challenging. Now unfold it and observe your beautiful creation. This is going to be your lamp. Now let's work on the lampshade. The next part is easy. Take a white crayon or another light crayon 
and start making designs and patterns and lines all over the white piece of paper. Make sure you're pushing hard with your crayon to make your lines. If you don't have crayons, don't worry about it. Just skip this part. Do you remember the warm and the cool colors? Well, I chose some warm colors to make my lampshade, but you can choose warm colors or cool colors to make yours. As you'll notice, all the lines, colors, and shapes that you made on your paper with a crayon are going to appear when you go over them with marker. After you finish adding color, you're done with your lampshade. Now it's time to put the lampshade in the lamp. To do that, we're just going to roll the lampshade with the color facing out. But before we insert our lampshade, we may want to make our tube a little bit round again. You know how we got it to be square so we could cut out the shapes? Now we're going to try to mold it and bend it gently so that we can get a round shape again and our paper fits in nicely. This is going to take a little patience, but you can do it. Then, when you put your lampshade in, you're going to stick your fingers on both sides of the lamp and kind of just start opening your fingers a little bit so that the paper fits in nicely. It helps to rotate your fingers and open them as you go. Make a different lampshade with cool colors and see which one you like more. Or even better, do two lamps. Let's review how to insert the lampshade again. Roll the paper gently and then stick it in the lampshade and let it expand in there. In order to secure it, you can put a little piece of tape. First, put it on the outside. And once you have the paper where you want it, you can bend the tape inside. And now to show off your lamp, turn on the flashlight on a phone or a device or even a real flashlight and place your lamp on top. Keep spinning it around to see what side you like best. Have fun creating these shape lamps. You may even want to make one as a gift for someone you love.